So I wanted to do a quick video about thermocouples. I started using them a couple years ago for a lot of different testing and they can be very useful. Uh, this is a Fluke 289 multimeter and it has a built-in type K thermocouple reader. The first thing to understand about thermocouples is that you need something that has a cold junction reference in order to read them. So right now we can see my multimeter showing about 76 degrees. This is the thermocouple that comes with it. It's just got the two wires connected at the end and then it plugs in. And if you grab a hold of the end of it, it'll warm up and then come back down. Pretty simple operation. If you don't have a multimeter or a tool that is designed to read thermocouples and read the type of thermocouple you're using, these are all type K thermocouple wire. This is one that is designed to go underneath the spark plug and then it has to have a special adapter to actually plug into the meter. The issue you'll run into is if you try to just use a regular multimeter is that you will get voltage readings from thermocouples. The way they work, if we switch this to millivolts, is for this type of wire, each thermocouple has a different type of wire in it, it will produce a certain amount of millivolts and it is going to be relative to the temperature difference from the junction point that I'm holding to the point in the meter that it's measuring. So when I see 0.3 millivolts that doesn't necessarily tell me anything because I would need to know the actual temperature inside the multimeter at those two points on the wire. It's always reading a difference. So it can be confusing. It's possible to actually look it up. There's tables that are available and you can look up a type K thermocouple. You can measure the temperature at the junction point, then put this on whatever you want to measure and it will tell you it will correlate. But if you're not measuring the point inside the meter, you're not going to actually be able to get any meaningful readings from these millivolt readings. So what it's doing when you go into the thermocouple mode is it knows what temperature is inside here and it's actually compensating. So when I'm holding it, it's taking the millivolt reading and it's using that as a reference point and will actually give you an accurate reading. You don't have to have a huge understanding of what's going on with thermocouples in order to use them. You can plug them into your meter, take a reading. But the trap that I ran into was I was working in an application where it was about 40 degrees out and I was measuring the temperature of a hydraulic reservoir which was a number of gallons of fluid and randomly I would have the temperature changed by 40 degrees in the course of a minute and then it would go right back. And what I actually figured out was happening was my meter was placed very close to the um, fans on the diesel motor and when the fans would kick on it would blast hot air. Each one of these multimeters or anything that you're using that has a cold temperature junction reference it has to have a stable temperature to base it off of. And if you look at the specs on the Fluke I'll clip them in here. It'll actually tell you how long the multimeter has to be at the same temperature and it will also tell you how much it can vary and still get that much accuracy. So I thought I would do, I would show a quick test of what can happen if you actually were to take this meter from inside to outside and have a big temperature difference and then go try to measure something before it actually equalizes. So we're at about 80 degrees in here, give or take, and I'm actually going to throw this in the freezer for 20-30 minutes and then going to show you what reading it gives in the exact same place. 
Now, the temperature in the room might change by four or five degrees, but you'll see what happens. Okay, so it's probably been about an hour that I've had this in a cold environment, and it's turning on. Switching it to the temperature, and the temperature in the room here might have moved a little bit, but we are showing 35 degrees. And what will happen is it's going to sit and it's going to slowly equalize. And you're going to see it slowly coming back up as that cold junction reference slowly gets to the correct temperature again. The issue with this is that if you go and you have one of these meters and you take it from inside a warm house, take it outside to where it's cold and take a measurement, it doesn't warn you that it's not calibrated. So your results are completely off and you have no way of scaling them. And as you can see, it can actually be a huge difference that you'll see. Hopefully you found this interesting and learned something about thermocouples and taking measurements with them. And thanks for watching.